So this question asks us to solve log base three of five X minus one equals two. So let's think about this. We have a base and we have an exponent. The base is three. The exponent is two, three to the second equals five X minus one. Solving for X nine equals 5x minus 1, adding 1 to both sides. 10 equals 5x, divide by 5. 2 is x. So let's see if we can check that. We're going to take a look at a graph, if we can, and see how this behaves. So let's go to Desmos. And I want to take a look at log base 3 of 5x minus 1, log base, shift underline, log base 3 of 5x minus 1. So we'll call that y equals log base 3 of 5x minus 1. And I want to see when does y equal 2? And when do they agree? They agree here. We see that point. So at that value, x equals 2, that agrees with what I had here. The x value that you need for that to equal that is when x equals 2. And we were able to get that directly from Desmos. Okay, next up we have 2 log base 6 of x equals log base 6 of 49. How are we going to work with this? Well, the exponent can go up. So this exponent of two can move up there. So I'm going to get log base six of x squared equals log base six of 49. So if that's the case, essentially x squared would be 49, but you've got to be a little bit careful. We're going to have to check when we're finished. If x squared is 49, x is plus or minus seven, except of course, you cannot take a log of a negative number, so the negative answer is no good. So the only one I would have here is seven. Now, how can I check that? How can I check that? Well, I can do that on, the, uh, on Desmos as well. Two log six of x equals log six of 49. I could rewrite that as two log six of x minus log six of 49 and C, does that equal zero? What X value does that equal zero? We hope it equals zero with seven. So let's jump to Desmos and see what we get there. So two times log base shift underline six of X minus log base six of 49 minus log shift underline base six of 49 y equals, when does that equal zero? It sure looks like it's seven, and that reinforces what we did on paper. All right, our next question is going to be log base three of x plus five. Plus log base three of x minus one. equals three. So how is this going to work? We have the sum of logs. The sum of logs is the log of the product. So we'll rewrite this as log base three of x plus five times x minus one. Equals three. So let's multiply the x plus five times x minus one. And what do we get? X plus five times X minus one. X times X is X squared, negative one times X, negative one X, positive five times X, positive five X, negative one times five, negative five. We get X squared, five X minus one X would be plus four X minus five. So I have log base three of X squared plus four X minus five equals three. 
So now let's look at our base and our exponent. Our base is three, our exponent is three. So three to the third power equals all of that stuff, x squared plus four x minus five. So three to the third power is 27 equals x squared plus four x minus five. Let's subtract 27 from both sides. So we get zero equals x squared plus four x minus 32, and that is going to be required to be factored. So let's look at that. x squared here, minus 32 here, plus 4x there. x times x, I believe it's going to be plus 8 and minus 4. Plus 8x minus 4x is plus 4x. x plus 8 times x minus 4. So we get 0 equals x plus 8. times x minus four. So x plus eight is zero or x minus four is zero. If x plus eight is zero, that means x is negative eight. If x minus four is zero, that means x is four. But remember, you cannot take a log of a negative number. If I plug negative eight up here, negative eight plus five is negative three. That would be log three of negative three. Negative eight minus one, that would be log three of negative nine the negative eight solution is not acceptable. It is not in the domain. You must take logs of positive numbers. Zero is not acceptable, negative number is not acceptable. If I plug four in, four plus five is nine, that's in the domain. Four minus one is three, that's in the domain. X equals four is acceptable. Now, let's check that with the graphing calculator or with uh, Desmos, I'll use Desmos instead. So we believe the answer to this is four. That is the only solution. So where am I at now? I have log three of x plus five. Plus log three of x minus one. I want that to equal three. So I think I'm going to graph two functions. I'm going to graph log three of x plus five plus log three of x minus one. I'm gonna look at that graph and I'm also gonna graph y equals three and I believe they should intersect when x equals four. So let's see if that's the case. Let's go to Desmos and take a look at that. Okay, on the first one, y equals log shift underline base three of x plus five. plus LOG shift underline base three of X minus one. That's my first equation and I want to see when does that equal three? And you can see it occurs at this point here, which is at four, three. What did I think was going to happen? I thought it was gonna intersect at X equals four. So this graph reinforces that notion that this function equals this function, log three of x plus five plus log three of x minus one equals three when x equals four. We have checked our work.